This video is about object oriented programming. Within the video, you can learn about classes and objects. Class is a template for objects. Object is an instance of a class. This is the basic definition about class and objects. This video will demonstrate you class and objects with Java source codes. First, I have opened a class with a NetBeans editor. Normally, NetBeans editor, we can see this additional stuff. Before starting coding, I'll delete this unnecessary stuff for this demonstration. You can use another editor instead of NetBeans or use the same editor NetBeans. Here I have opened the class which is test class. I have opened it as a Java program. This is why you can see here the main method. This is the test class. Right, let's start declaring a variable x within test class. I have taken the variable as x with integer type. Also, the variable is initialized to 5. Then, this is the declaration for a method which is msg for message the type of the message method is void which has no a return type which will not return anything it displays only hello world now in the main method of the test class I am trying to print the value of x but here at the line number 9 you may observe an error after writing the program click on the run button to start the debugging but it says there is an error. You can see here a tooltip available explaining the error. The reason is here I have not declared an object of test class. This is how we are creating object First, we have to type the name of the class, the name of the object in assignment operator. After that, new space, again the name of the class, then open and close brackets. We will discuss more about this later. Now, at the line number 10, we will see how to access the value of x, right, the value of x is 5, now it is ok to access an attribute of a class, we have to create an object, then type the object name dot the name of the attribute. Now you can see line number 10, I have accessed the value of x. Then I am trying to access the message msg. Now we will see how to call to the message method. 
just type the name of the object, then dot name of the method, then open and close brackets. Right, you can see the output is 5, then hello world. 5 is the value of x, output of the line number 10, then hello world is the output of the method, the line number 11. This is how we access attributes and methods inside a class. Although it is in the same class, the main method and the other variables and methods are in the same class, we can declare objects, then we can access attributes and methods. Now, I am creating another class which is my class. You can see here in any file we are creating with NetBeans at the very first line it says package then a package name. This is the project name initially I have given when I am declaring the project. If you are using Notepad++ or other editor, normally it is not required to specify the package and you can continue from line number 2. Right, I have declared an attribute x and a method msg inside my class. It is a separate file. Now in my project I have two classes, test class and my class. I am trying to I am trying to access the attributes and methods in my class from test class. First, I have to create an object of my class inside the test class. The name of the object of my class is here objnc. You can see here the source code of both classes. Now, I am going to access the value of the variable x, but in my class, there is no value assigned to the variable x. I'll assign 10. This is how I access the value of x, creating an object, then typing object dot the name of the attribute. Then let's access the method msg inside my class. This is how I access the method msg. Just type the name of the object and then the name of the method. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Build success. It is very easy to create object and access attributes and methods to have two separate lines as the output 
here line number six I change the word print to print ln now you can see here the output in two separate lines now I change the access modifier of the variable to static Also, before the type of the method, I typed the word static. Now, those are static variable and static method. To access those type of uh, variables and methods, we should not create objects. We can use the name of the classes instead of objects. Here I have just typed the class name dot x and the class name dot msg. The build success. This is how we access static methods and static variables.